My mom says I was born at 5 o'clock in the evening just in time for dinner. She worked in a chocolate factory when she was younger and she worked in a lot of different restaurants and started her own restaurant when she came to the States. So of course I learned from that. One of my favorite memories about the holidays is when she came to visit me. She had come out to visit and I felt so bad. I got this job and I wasn't home and I had said to my friends, you know, if you get a chance, pop in, check on my mom. Well, I came home that night and I hear her sitting in the living room with like 10 of my friends. Everyone smelled it, decided to come over to check on my mom while I was away. And she was holding court, telling stories about how my mom and my dad had met overseas and it was like the coolest thing. So I made a German potato salad, which is like a warm potato salad with bacon bits and parsley flakes. I also made a pumpkin soup that's actually a pumpkin from last Thanksgiving. And then of course the main dish is a ham. My mom always says you eat with your eyes first. And so we made a glazed ham. It's got pineapple and uh, maraschino cherries on it. It has this amazing glaze. My mom taught me well. <laughs> Since my family is spread all over the world, we try to get together. What's interesting is when we come home for the holidays, even though we've changed into these very, very different people, food is our common ground. And it's so easy for us to share stories. And that's the neat thing about food and bringing people home as a group, as a family, is you share stories and, and you tell stories. And it becomes about the, the conversation. And food just happens to be the thing that links us all together.